Hey guys, welcome back to On The Topic with me, Amy B. How are you guys doing today? So this video is going to be pretty short, sweet, and to the point. I was getting ready for the day and I thought, you know what, let me share this tip because it's been a long time research practice for many, many years for dark circle coverage. Oh my gosh. So I've always dealt with dark circles. If you follow me from the beginning, all the way till now, we all know that, or you should know, or maybe if you're new, I'm going to let you know that I deal with dark circles. Pretty dark circles, mostly genetic, um, but of course, life, non-sleep, all of the above. You know, it can, I can have better days and very, very bad days when it comes to my dark circles. So I have found my foolproof, full coverage these dark circles are not peeking through to you. They are not going to put me on blast. They are not going to be like, hey, here we are. They're going to be vanished, gone for the day as long as I have this combination on. I've tried a lot of concealers. Tried a lot. I have tried a lot. Mostly drugstore, of course, some high end. Concealer is kind of like one of those things like mascara where I go through it a lot, especially now in this time in my makeup game while I can, I love a good foundation. I love a good foundation powder. I'm mostly doing concealer. It's kind of for me, just like a one-stop shop. I know it's going to cover my dark circles. I can kind of spread it out and just kind of spot, you know, uh, correct all over my face or cover up and be done. This combo just seems to be like my go-to. I love it. Yeah. Like I said, higher end concealers are really not my thing. I like to find what I can at the drugstore if I can for things that I go through a lot of. But in this case and in this scenario, well, it ended up being a higher end concealer that does the job. But, but the kicker is it's with a drugstore corrector. So, you know, it's a well balanced. And I really only use this combo when I am having some struggle in that area where they are like on blast, they are fierce, they are out to attack. These dark circles are just out to take me down. That's when I use this combo. Um, and that's kind of what I know the lighting, I'm trying to do as much natural lighting as possible because I feel like you can see my darkness better in person, like they are dark. This is just natural lighting in the room coming in through the windows. So, I mean, I don't, I still think like it's, you can't really see and tell on camera. I probably maybe need to be outside. I'm not really sure, but in person, like they're gray, they're dark, they're black. And, and mine go all the way around, like my entire eye. So I've shared before that one of my favorite drugstore concealers is the Milani Concealer Perfect. I, I don't have the color that I normally use, which is 140. That concealer is phenomenal. It will cast out any darkness. Um, and when I'm having the really, really bad days of dark circles, I can use that with the corrector as well underneath. Um, but it's, it, it's not my foolproof. Like when I really need it to be foolproof, knock them, them dark circles out, you know, knock them out, give them a KO. <laughs> I'll use, um, this combo, which is corrector wise is a drugstore brand. I'm sure you could probably use any corrector, but this one just seems to always do me good. I like the way it goes on. It plays well with my higher end concealer. And that is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in their orange, uh, red, orange red color that um, corrects. So I lay this down first and I correct it. The mega star that I have been raving about for so long is the Huda Beauty, the Overachiever Concealer. This bad boy is no joke it covers it does such an amazing job i wish that huda beauty would just make this into um like a much bigger tube <laughs> like, but keep the same formula the same consistency the same everything i want it just this that doesn't break me out and the flawlessness this is why this is my full my foolproof because the flawlessness that it gives when it goes on, like I don't see my pores, I don't see anything. I use this all over sometimes, like I'll drag it down and over as pretty much like my base, my foundation. But this right here, this is the bomb. So this combination is what I use to 
knock out those dark circles. So I'm just gonna demonstrate that for you really quick. All right, we are back. So I have my Hand Dandy Beauty Blender. I use, and I'm looking this way because I have a mirror right here. So um, so I just take, like I said, the orange concealer. I've already prepped my face, get all that moisturized, primed, all of that good stuff. So it's just a brush like that. It looks just like that. Um, you basically paint it on. Mine's messy, I know. And I've, ha I've been having to use this a lot more lately because these dark circles are just attacking me. So I just go straight in with the brush and just really fan it out from, from the inner corner out like that. And I mean, I, I put a very generous amount because like I said, my dark circles go all the way around. Um, so yeah, so that's what I do. And I just blend that out. And it's gonna look weird and crazy. And yes, for me personally, you can do however, you know, but I go also on the lid to cast out some of that darkness up there as well. Cause like I said, mine goes all the way around. And if you ever see me in person with no makeup, you'll understand the fight. <laughs> you'll understand why I need to go so aggressively with this color. And I'm not gonna do like a side by side because you've already seen me without. I just want to, I want you to see like what it does to my face. And plus I wanna do all the orange so that I can go on and do the other side. So there it is, and I know it's like, whoa, girl. But I'm gonna show you how good the Huda Beauty is because Huda Beauty don't come to play. She does not come to play around. So um, <clears throat> same thing. Sometimes I'll do this with my finger. Sometimes I'll do it with like a brush. It, if I have a clean brush, I'll do a brush. If I don't, it is one of like, it's that's what the tip looks like. It just, it's like one of those little where you can do it and it feels good, but I don't do that. I, I squeeze out a good amount, especially when I'm gonna use it for all over my face. I'll just squeeze out a really good amount, like around like that. And you can see it's pretty thick. It's not runny, that runny or anything. It stays where it's at. So it's pretty a pretty thick formula, I, but it doesn't feel that way when it goes on. No, it's hard to explain, but it's got, it's very opaque. That's good coverage. So I'll just take my ring finger and what I'll do is I'll come in and I'll kind of swipe it down. And you see, you see my pores, but when I blend it out, those will be gone, 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 gone. So I go pretty generous because I'm going to, like I said, put, bring this down as my actual foundation as well today. So I go in with the clean side of the beauty blender, not the orange side that I've done, but the side that has really like no product. And I'll just start blending that out. And like I said, this stuff is amazing it makes your skin look so flawless like look at that like airbrushed oh my gosh i love this stuff so much i can't even tell you i'm probably embarrassed to even try to tell you how many tubes of this i have been through oh and by the way i'm so sorry this color is in granola um 18 in i don't know if it's gonna focus on the color but that's the color and i'm just I can't, like, this is such a beautiful, beautiful, found, or not foundation, but concealer. Like I said, it just, it goes on, and your pores and everything just looks so flawless. Like, where are my pores? Do you see my pores? Do you see them? They disappeared. They're gone. <laughs> see, like, see those pores? You see them? That's my problem area. But this stuff, oh, no. Oh, no. Not only does it combat my dark, dark, crazy dark circles, but my pores like disappear. This formula is out of this world. I don't know. I don't know what you did. I don't know how you did it, Huda, but kudos to you. This is another one of those products where I probably should just buy stock in. I'm just kidding. Cause I definitely buy a lot of this concealer. And that's it. That's it. Look at the difference. Look how awake my face looks, how lifted my under eyes look. You cannot see any darkness coming through at least. I can't, I don't know, maybe on camera it picks up a little bit different, but in person, I see nothing but the flawless finish of that concealer. I'll just basically take it all the way down, just that little bit left. I'll just like dot it and just use the rest of it and take every, I mean, I don't waste not one bit of it and I'll just blend it in to the rest of my skin. I have some pigmentation like here that it just covers it up. Like 
like a champ to me. My personal opinion, and I've tried some other high-end concealers for sure. This is a champion of concealers to me. So there you have it from on the topic. Champion of concealers, Huda Beauty. <laughs> that is what I'll do. Dark circles gone, pores filled, flawless canvas, ready to perform some artwork. <laughs> and that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. But anyways, let me finish up my makeup so you don't have to see this at the end of the video and we'll close this up and all of that, all right? All right, be back. All right guys, makeup done, hair done, everything done. <laughs> so yeah, basically I just wanted to close up the video. Um, one to say, I definitely appreciate you um, watching. I really hope this was helpful. Like for those of you out there that are suffering with dark circles, whether it's genetic, whether you're just not getting enough sleep, you're not hydrated, all of the, all of the above. Maybe you've been looking for a foolproof to uh, a foolproof makeup routine or a foolproof concealer routine that would help camouflage those dark circles and really hide them. And, and so that not everybody out there knows your business, right? <laughs> Them dark circles are trying to be, um, trying to, you know, call you out and like, you know, give them a KO, knock them out. And this is how you do it. But yeah, this is my champion of champion foolproof, um, cover up and dark circles, um, combo. So Again, you can try any corrector out there, but this is the one that I found that has the most pigment. It's pretty orange. There may be more out there, but this is just what I could find. And I think it's a well-balanced because you got drugstore and you got high-end and you know, it works. Let me know what your combo is that you feel is a, is a, it's going to, you know, give a knockout. It's going to KO those dark circles. I'm willing to try it. I mean, this is my champions, but I'm not afraid to try new things as far as when it comes to makeup like that. I will try it, I'll give it a go, and I'll let you know. But right now, this is what I found, and this is years, <laughs> years of research. This is years of trying and trying and trying, and this right, I mean, this so far is what I have found to be the best in the game as far as covering up my dark circles, because I have a lot. So anyways, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell so that you're notified anytime I upload a video here on On The Topic. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in my very next video.